All right, it is time for the next round of recent pickups. First thing we're going to go over is this, uh, hard to open it up out of the box. This is Famicom Multicart. You've probably already seen me uh, kind of take a look at it and review it just uh, because of the fact that this recent pickups video is probably not going to come out for a little while. So why is there glare there? Uh, 150 games claims to not have any duplicates. We'll see about that. Next is, I'm not, not sure if it's going to fit in frame. It's this metal Metroid poster. Kind of thought it was neat, so I picked it up. And the rest of the stuff came all in the same batch, although this doesn't necessarily mean the end of this video because I'm going to have more stuff as time goes on. So next thing I got is this NES to Famicom adapter. Now, if you remember, I picked one of these up. Well, it was a bare PCB version of it a while back off of eBay. It didn't work, so I picked one of these up instead. Hopefully this one will work and I will test it on video probably as a short. We'll see. And then the next thing I got out of this particular batch is this replacement PSP shell. Though I don't remember buying purple. I could have sworn I bought a green one, but that could just be a fake memory from when I tried to order one off of Amazon and it never showed up. Comes with all the replacement buttons and everything. Looks like there's some replacement stickers and screws as well as the shell itself. I have no idea on the actual quality of this thing. It seems okay, but who knows. Now, the reason I picked this up is because the finish on my PSP is going bad. Let me show you. So if you've seen my overall game room videos or my handheld collection, uh, you may remember that I talked about the paint kind of just chipping. Even now it's still chipping further. And yeah, so I'm not... Uh, pleased with it, especially since this is an official Sony shell that came with the console, obviously, originally, and the fact that the paint's already peeling. I mean, granted, this probably had this thing for about six years. Found it new in, new in stock at Target, one left. So, but yeah, uh, I'm not happy with the paint. And the only way to get a good shell is to just take a dead PSP and reshell it. I figured I'll just leave that for someone to try to fix up or something. And I'll test one of these replacement shells out, so we'll see. Yeah, there's paint flex right there. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. On to the next items. So let's move on to some additional pickups. One is an eBay purchase, and this... Wow, that color is not quite accurate on screen compared to what's in my hand, but that's fine. I'll fix that later. So I've got two packages for this particular part of this segment. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's right. And this came really quick, actually. And it is a boxed copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 for the Sega Genesis. It's the greatest hits, or the mega hit series. Even these are going for quite a pretty penny, but the, uh, the plastic shell one is even more expensive. And I've been trying to collect boxed copies of the Sonic games on the Genesis. I did not pick up a boxed copy of Sonic and Knuckles, unfortunately, but I'm see if I can try to find the box and manual for it, but this should be complete. As you can see, it's got the manual and it's got the game. So the box is a little worn, but it's not bad. At least not some of the ones that I've seen out there. And for the price that I paid for this, uh, I'm not going to complain. So but I'm going to get to the other packaging because if it's what I think it is, I'm really excited for that one. And the second box is from Play Asia, so I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And in here, if I can get this box open. Oh, cool, there's a little Play Asia metallic sticker. That's neat. And there's also this cardboard Play Asia customer service info. And of course, the important thing is this copy of Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 collection is the Pixel Remaster. For whatever reason, it is not being sold physically in North America. Or most of the world, I think. I think there was a pre-sale the Square launched at, like, my time, like, 2 in the morning. And, of course, by the time I found out, it was, you know, sold out, so... But that's why this does not have any ratings or anything like that, because this is the... I, I'm not going to say that this is the universal version or the Asian version, although it does have the JPN uh, 
listing right there. But it doesn't have the Japanese, uh, what, Sero on there either, so I don't know what to make of that. But it's the same game otherwise. It uh, does have the reversible box art and everything, and it should be the full game. Hopefully no downloads are required, but I wanted to pick this up. You can buy these digitally, and you can buy them individually if you wish. I figured I'd just get the whole collection at once and go with that, so... There's that. If I picked anything else up for this next installment of my pickups, we'll move on to the next item. And well, for the next segment in uh, recent pickups is this pile of stuff here. All from AliExpress because I was curious to see what kind of stuff you can actually get from them. Now, I know I already did the uh, Famicom Multicart that came from there as well, but I wanted to buy a bunch more stuff, so here's this. Some of these things are also... Uh, not necessarily gaming related, but they are related to the channel in some way. I may or may not feature them. We'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and get these open and see what I picked up. First one we'll take a look at is the very large, long package and see what's inside here. Inside were two of these. I believe these are just uh, generic stands for like lighting, cameras, etc. I picked them up because I have some a little bit extra lighting that I'm trying to incorporate into the videos to give them a little bit more uh, even distribution of light as well as maybe some accent lighting with different colors and things like that. So I'm not going to show them off because, again, it's boring stuff. So let's move on to the next package. Next one we'll take a look at is this package that won't fit in frame. We'll open it up and see what's inside. It looks like there's multiple things. Something in the box. We'll take a look at it though. As well as another bagged item. We'll have to see what's in here. And this large package with yellowed tape. And finally, this. Let's open each individual one up and see what's inside. Start with the easier one. styrofoam inside. <laughs> Alright, so this isn't for the channel. It's actually a uh, gift item that I picked up for someone, so I'm not going to show it off. But let's move on to maybe this one here. I think I know what this is based on what I feel. Not gaming related, but it is channel related, and it's just a pair of these uh, side cutters. That's all. It was like a couple of bucks, and I figured, why not? So We got another package here. Just some various size and colors of heat shrink tubing. Gonna be very handy for various projects, modding, stuff like that. Repairs especially. And let's see what we've got in here. And in that box is a PS2 Super Slim. Okay, not really. It's the PAP2 modeled after the PS2 Super Slim, including the super totally legit PS2 style dual shock controllers. It says supports 4K HDMI, no, it's 720p, 60 hertz, gamepad, has a flash card. So this is just one of those emulation boxes. I don't remember if this is just like a generic emulation box where it can do like Nintendo, Genesis, etc. Or if this is just like a Famiclone. We'll do a future video on it at some point, I'm sure. I figured it was kind of like a neat little novelty, so why not? Let's move on to this uh, flappy packaging. Multiple items in here as well. Both individually addressed as well, so it looks like they were going to send them out initially separately and instead uh, sent them out uh, as one package, so let's take a look. So in the little white one is uh, this. This is some EL wiring. It's, it's actually been around for a long time, but uh, it was very popular with uh, computer case modders back in like the early to mid, maybe even late 2000s. Uh, long before LED started becoming really popular. I bought this for a specific project. I'm not going to tell you what it's for, but some of you might be able to guess if you're really clever. But this will be featured in a future project. Next, we'll look at what's in here. Oh, right, it's uh, another set of flush cutters, and I had to... I, I picked these up because if I added like something else for a few more dollars, I can get free shipping. So I figured I'd get it, and these are... These look like they're in better shape than the other ones do, but I don't care as long as they can cut stuff, uh, it'll work. Never too, uh, too many of those, so let me go ahead and grab... Next we'll look at this package. And inside is this box. Actually a nice unbranded, unlabeled box. 
which is good because I can always use it in the future. Oh. Forget that I picked this up. It's this little mini handheld uh, with uh, Famicom colors. 500 games in one. It's probably a Famicom. It's upside down in the box. It's got a 2.4 inch LCD screen. I don't expect this to be a powerhouse, but we'll take a look at that in the future as well. Next, we'll look at, actually, final thing is this. And there's only one item in here, so let me open up and take a look. Oh yeah, this one I do remember picking up. It's another handheld, but this one is a little bit more unique. It looks like, at least from the pictures, that it's a little bit better constructed. It's got these uh, shoulder buttons in the back. It claims 640x480p 480 screen, dual thumbsticks, TF card, so SD card. It's got uh, 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs of storage, I'm guessing, built in. ARM chips, so this is going to be one of those emulation station type things, emulation boxes, etc. Again, that'll be out in a future video. And I could have sworn that I actually ordered one more of these mini consoles, but it never came in. It's probably going to show up whenever it does. But I picked that one up because that one was really unique, unlike anything I've ever seen before. And I said, oh, I have to buy that one and I have to feature it because it is just... Well, when I get it in, I'll uh, make a video about it and go from there. So, but all in all, from a gaming standpoint, this is pretty much it. Like I said, the rest are tools and something that I'm gonna use for a specific mod that I'm gonna do in the future, project, etc. So these are these are it. If I get anything else, we'll tack on to the end of the video. Otherwise, we'll wrap it all up. So here they are, the recent pickups that I got over the past few months and since the last pickups video. Most of it retro gaming stuff, some newer stuff like Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster, Sonic Origins Plus over here. But the rest is going to be retro gaming stuff and then of course a couple of tools and stuff like that. Like I said, there was supposed to be one more handheld but it didn't come in in time. I'm actually not sure when it's going to arrive, but when it does I'll either do a special short on it or something or I will include it in the next recent pickups video. What do you think of my pickups? Do you like them? Do you agree with them? think that I just wasted my money? Do you have anything like these or similar? Let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, thanks all. I'll catch you later.